everyone, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. And today's episode, we're gonna be nipping down to um, just another village from where I live. Someone messaged me on uh, on my phone to say they've got a lawnmower which no longer runs. Uh, do you want it? So I'm a bit, always a bit sort of careful now with what I pick up because I think due to the pandemic, so many people are just throwing away their old junk mowers, and I mean junk mowers, you know, they've got big holes in the deck and this, that and the other, which is all good for spare parts, but there's only so many spare parts I can take, you know, so many SB150 engines and what have you, so I'm always a bit, trying to be a bit careful, so we'll send me some photographs, I'll have a look, and uh, so it's got a plastic deck on it, uh, it's got a grass box, uh, the engine's all, it's all complete, it just doesn't run, um, but he didn't send no photographs over, so I don't, Right, right, you know what I'm walking into, but you know, if you said it's all complete, it's got a plastic deck, no damage, if the engine doesn't run, then um, to me that makes sense to at least go and, go and pick it up. So, we're going to shoot over to um, Aldwick, which is just um, a stone's throw from me. I think it's sat now since about five minutes, so it's just, just through town. I've just been down to the post office to go and drop off uh, this week's um, Guess What It Is winner prizes off my live stream which I run on a Saturday night uh, 6.30 uh, UK time. So we're going to Aldwick, go and pick up this lawnmower and when we get back we'll have a quick little look at it to see what it looks like and then uh, we'll go from there. Is it going to be an absolute pile of, pile of muck or is it going to be an absolute stonker? You, do, you just never know do you? So just about to pull up now, I'll have a quick little look at it and then we'll go from there. See you in two ticks. Just pick that lawnmower up. Um, and as he said, it's in um, it's in good condition um, and it's all complete. Um, apart from he said the pull cord's broken on it. Uh, I didn't even ask the question if it's uh, if it runs because um, it is all complete. I am smelling fuel, but I am doing. But you never guess what it is. Um, if I said to you a green lawnmower, what would you be thinking? Um, it's four wheeled roller, it's got a plastic deck um, with a grass box and what have you, it's all complete. So um, have a little think whilst I'm, whilst I'm just having a little drive and let us know what you think it is in the comment section. Um, I've got to nip back now because uh, time is now half past nine, I've been on a bit of a mission, so I've been to the post office this morning uh, doing the old guess what it is uh, giveaway prizes. Just go and picked up um, Nana Pauline's um, Nana P's uh, uh, prescription um, for her, her painkillers, what she needs. Uh, pick this mower up and uh, I've got to get back for 10 o'clock because I've sold a, a little Mountfield 414 this morning to someone, so they're going to come pick that up. And I've also sold that Flymo too, that's gone, which is nice. Oh, look, God, it's going this weekend. Uh, funnily enough, it's going to a. Um, going to a gentleman who um, has got a child who's got the same syndrome as Riley. Uh, he lives over the next town. Good, we're really good friends. Uh, so going to my mate Jim, he's uh, just uh, packed up his job and he's now doing uh, lawn care, which is quite good. He, he'd done it before, about 20, 20 or 30 years ago. So he'd done it before. Um, and he just started a new venture. Since the pandemic or whatever, he started a new venture and uh, wants to do lawn care. So possibility could have another Another little contract there with, mis with myself and Jim for repairing the surface and his equipment, unless, uh, unless he does it himself. Um, but there you go, uh, could be good. So, but yeah, the Flymo is now gone with that Decumpsy engine on top. And um, I've now picked up this one, got one sold as well. So things are starting to move. Um, on another note, um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm hoping I might have actually found um, a roller seat. Uh, for um, the Dennis. Um, not only have I found one, but I believe it to be the correct one. It's actually the correct roller seat. Um, hang on, I've got a big, big dump of lorry here moving about. Um, it's actually the correct roller seat for it. I've been looking at some of the, um, the paperwork on the Dennis's, and uh, this is actually the correct roller seat for it. This is, this is an original. It's got um, a twin split roller on it, 
Um, it's got an old-fashioned tractor seat on it, and uh, it's got a nice angle foot plate. So if if I get it, uh, brilliant. The downside is uh, it's up near Leeds, um, but I'm looking at getting a courier to courier it down uh, for me, which is going to be quite expensive to do. I'm hoping to get the seat at a good price. I'm just thinking, you know, it's nearly Christmas. Nearly Christmas. And um, pandemic, people aren't working, people are losing their jobs and selling stuff, you know. So that means that people who are selling stuff, there's not a lot of people out there buying stuff. That's my theory. So I'm hoping to get it for cheap. Uh, if I do, then that saved the money on, uh, on the courier which is going to be about 130 to 150 pound of courier it for me because uh, it is about an eight hour round trip drive um, and I'm not doing eight hours because um, it'll be nine or ten hours by the time I put a couple of, a couple of uh, toilet stops in there, lunch stop in there and whatever so yeah I'm not doing that but hey ho that's what it is so I'm just pulling into the home now into the old uh, mixed mowers uh, mansion we'll offload this little mower and we'll have a little look first impressions and see what's up with it and then we'll go from there to see in a tick Right, so I just picked up this uh, this lovely green lawnmower. Uh, any guesses as to what it is yet? Let's have a little look. What do you reckon it is? It's a power force. Yay! Oh, well, that ain't very good, is it? A free power force with a Decumish um, lawnmower on top and uh, engine on top and all it looks like the pull cord's gone at the moment but uh, we'll get around that in a bit see how we get on um it's all complete he didn't tell lies it's all complete but uh yeah it's got one of them funny upside down engines on it all right let's have a look at it okay um so all i've done is i've taken out the um one two three four bolts there they're 10 mils an eight mil up here and eight mil around the side I've took the pull cord off just by tipping it up this way and it comes out and just re-threaded a, um, a pull cord on there. What I do is I put a little time lapse on how to uh, how to do that so you can see me do that. So I've got a brand new pull cord in there. About seven feet of pull cord you're after, okay? Uh, tip it back in that way like that and it just rock in over top if you don't tip it down here there's a bit goes under the, under the flywheel here if you don't uh, tip it on it won't it won't fit is that it something like that there you go that's on so now what i do is get me 10 mils and i have found with these decumpties if you wind them all the way home tight right um it tends to pinch the um the housing up against a flywheel and it never ever uh, recalls again properly um, until you loosen them off. So I found with the Tecumseh, uh just loosey goosey. So do them on, give them a little tiny, a little tiny bit of a, an impact, and then uh, oh hello, and then you'll be uh, you'll be good to go. But if you go do them up too tight, then there is a risk that um, the housings crimp 
and you won't be able to uh, to get the pull cord to run right. So just want to run these 10 mils in by hand. Can't see what I'm doing here. So we're not the best fitting on these machines. Come on, baby. There it goes. Right now it's having it. Uh, do that up then. I so said not too tight. That's enough. You don't know more than that. It's all the way. It's all the way home. But do not too tight. I mean, do pinch the old uh, assemblies. Okay. Get rid of that magnet. Uh, I've got a couple of eight mils here to do. Let's put this tank on. That's just going to sit. There's two little tiny grommet tabs that sit over the back of the pull cord assembly. That then sits down, and that a little tiny eight mil there <coughs> on the back of that. Check me out, Bruce. I work on the Camish. Check me out. Check me out. Apparently, if you work on these uh, decumpses too much, you start speaking Canadian. You've got an act, you start to develop, develop an accent. And this is a left-handed uh, lawnmower, so it will suit all you left hookers. This isn't a right-handed lawnmower, you pull it with your left hand, but you just turn around and do it on your head. Um, just want to check the oil on this machine. I might give it a bit of a blow off first, so Mick, before you do that, I don't know, I'll be all right. Let's uh, pull that out. Yeah, there's a bit of oil in there. What's a bit more oil, really, to be fair, but there's enough there just to fire this machine up. So uh, let me uh, take it outside, and we'll go for a quick little fire up. After I've just spent about three and a half hours trying to do this, uh, this oil filler up. Oh, he's a pain, aren't they? I hate him. That's it. All right. Let me just uh, do it up, I and mean, then I'll meet you outside in the old yard. And we'll go for a fire up. Give us two ticks. Right, here's the old uh, Ferrari. Let's just put that height adjustment up all the way. In the event it's going to start up. That's it. One more. I think. One boing. Right, is that it? That's it. Okay. So the Cumpsy. Uh, little mower, it was actually out of fuel. I've got a bit of a fuel hose leak, I can see a bit of a fuel leak going on, I can see that. Uh, nothing, nothing massive, let's get some pumps in. See what we get out of it. It might need a carburetor clean yet, we don't know do we? All right, you ready? Let's uh, put this up here. That's it, all right. Let's have a couple of pumps. Let's see how we get on. There you go. That fired. It didn't like running. Let's go again. That's it. So um, that's all we're getting. Um, that's running with the, with the prime. I've got a bit of a fuel leak, as I say, so I need to get that sorted out. Let's go back inside the shop and do a carburetor clean on this machine. All right, let's make a little start on this machine then. 7 16 uh, socket. Goes underneath. Crack that off, and I've got a little tiny uh, Chinese tub here. Just want to see what the bowl's like underneath. So let's uh, loosey goosey that off to begin with. Until we get a bit of a flow going on, a bit of flow, Joe. Go on, baby. Go on, baby, light my fire. There goes the old juice. Let's get that bolt out. 
Go on, princess. That's it, off it comes. Yeah, there's a bit of crud in there. There goes the old main jet. There's a bit of dirt in there, not, not, nothing shocking. But I uh, don't really want to take this all apart, you see. That's the, that's the idea. I'm hoping it's just going to be a, a, a quick, uh, quick clean. So we've got a hole in here to sort out, uh, to file out. That is uh, partially blocked. So I'm clean that out. So we're going to clean this main jet out first. Give that a clean. And then spray some stuff up in here to try and uh, clean all that out. And then we go from there. So let me get the fuel out. I'll come back in two ticks and we'll have a quick little clean to see if I can't get away just doing a, a quick and dirty. Whilst, whilst the carb's still on, I'll take the, uh, take the needle out as well, okay? That'll just uh, help in the flow and also I'll give, it, I'll give it a bit of a clean up as well once all this fuel's come out. I'll give it a bit of a clean up. Um, spray some WD-40 up in there and all that sort of good stuff. I've got to sort out that fuel leak yet as well. Uh, I should probably just remove the, uh, the clamp. It's probably got a split in it somewhere. In fact, I can see the split from here. Yeah. So I can do that. How much fuel left to go? Oh, a little way out. So uh, let me get this forward fuel drained. Um, I can repair this fuel hose, so that's probably not helping. Um, and then uh, I'll give this carb a quick little clean, and then uh, I'll come back to you uh, as and when I do different steps. Right, that's just dripping now. I've got most of the fuel out. Just gonna remove this air filter as well, because this air filter is actually part of the priming assembly on these, uh, on these uh, machines from machines from Satan. Um, this screw in particular I'm taking out now, if that's not in, uh, your carburetor won't prime. I don't know if you knew that or not. I did. I'm sure someone told me. Uh, that on there, yeah, if that's not in, uh, then it won't prime. Uh, so I've got two of them to do. One uh, is easy accessible, and the other one is, uh, is a message from Satan himself around the back, yeah. I do actually secretly hate these machines. So I take the air filter off, right? That'll slide out with ease once you manage to get your finger around here and mug about a bit. Where is it? There it is. Now's a good time to take any photographs if you want to take photographs of uh, linkages and what have you. Personally, I don't see why anyone would take a photograph of a decumption lawnmower. Why would you want to see it on your phone as well? Um, so yeah, I've got to remove this fuel line and I want to just spray through uh, this, this, uh, this bolt hole itself because that, as I say, is, is part of the priming system. Um, so let me just cut this fuel line off, shorten it back a touch and refit that and I'll come back in two ticks. Right, so um, I had a quick little uh, clean through just with a bit of WD-40 and what have you. Just want to now push this Q-tip up into uh, where the main Fuel comes out via the needle. Give that a bit of a clean. That's not too bad. Up in here as well. And then just want to introduce uh, some WD-40 up into there as well. There's two holes. And the bigger one you'll get in. And the smaller one you won't. There is. That's that. I'm gonna go and get my air compressor <coughs> and compress that through. Don't go too mad, because you don't want to blow that seal out. So I tend to push the, push the seal in, the prime bulb in, and then blow it. I just uncover the hole slightly. That's that one. The straw. And then up into here. Good, I'm gonna give that a clean. And now I just wanna get hold of the, uh, the main jet, which would be in the bowl somewhere. 
get my files. There's a little tiny hole that goes right across via the jet and tube, which is that one there. Give that a good clean, just to improve the flow on that one. There's a little tiny hole just here on the side. Give that a poke. Sometimes you get one further up as well, but not on this one. And then big hole down through the center. Give that a clean. That's slightly too big. Next one down, which should be that one there. That one, that's the one. And you should better see it go all the way down through. goes yeah nice big hole in there get rid of my files get your wd-40 spray or carb cleaner whichever you use and then run that straw down through see it come out and you want to come out that little hole there too on the side there just here run it all the way through the hole on the back of this side and then hit that with your air compressor as well And that's that done. So hopefully now the carburetor is now clear. I've got to clean the bowl. Uh, just give that a bit of a spruce up. That's no biggie. There's just a little bit of gunk in there. Nothing, uh, nothing too strenuous, as I say. Bit of wire wool on that. We'll soon bring that back. And I'll reassemble this carburetor. And then uh, we'll take it back outside. I'll see in two ticks. And we'll give it another fire up and see if it hasn't cured it. If not, it'll be going to the outside cleaner. But hopefully it's, uh, it's done the job. Right, that's the carburetor now cleaned. Hopefully we'll, uh, we've made a bit of difference. Put a bit more fuel in. Um, the fuel leak's now been sorted. It had a bit of a fuel leak that's now been sorted out. So let's give it a, some pumps. Let's see what we don't get this time. I want it to run to be nice. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just call me the Decumpsy King. It's not hunting, which I'm surprised about. Doing everything it should do. Little push mower, got it for nothing. New pull board. Good to go. Okay, there you go. That's that little Decumpsy uh, lawnmower. I think it's a, um, a pro, uh, a, uh, no, it's definitely not a pro lawnmower. Power Performance or something along that line. Uh, originally out of B&Q or somewhere like that. It's quite an age. Uh, just goes to prove I can fix pretty much anything. If I can fix the Decumpsy, get them running right, then I must be on a, on a track to do something good, I hope. I really, really am just not, not keen on those machines, only because you need a plethora of tools to get them working. I know that Brucey Boy absolutely loves them, I get that, um, but uh, I'm not overly keen. But there you go, uh, a free little lawnmower, uh, cost me nothing, just five minutes around from my door, new pull cord, carburetor clean, and uh, away it goes. It's now on its test, because uh, because I don't like the machines and they're quite unreliable, I, I, I've, I've found them to be. Uh, that begin the, it's full 15, 20 minute test, full tank of juice, and just run and run and run until something shows up. If nothing shows up, I should test it again tomorrow morning and then put it up for sale and uh, hopefully that'll be gone just before Christmas, which would be ideal. I'm still selling stuff. Uh, at the moment, we're just in the middle of um, November and I'm still selling mowers even now. People are still cutting grass because the season's still quite mild and uh, people are still buying like, little cheap mowers. That only go for, for not a lot of money, not at all, Joe. But it's, it's a quick, easy little fix and just turn it around and boom, away it goes. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mows, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two of them on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up on your way in or on your way out. I look forward to seeing the next episode of Mixed Mows very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.